Welcome back everybody. Please excuse my hair. I just got back from a run. So, um, it's a little messed up. I need a haircut, but today I want to do my first ever challenge. I want to do surf and turf challenge and I really want to get the subscribers involved. So if you have a channel or if you don't join this challenge, it's going to be a surf and turf. Basically just do a surf, just do a turf. Um, by this time next Wednesday, I think it will be the 16th or something. Um, I'll pick a winner, do shout outs and all that, but I really want to be interactive. Just make sure you tag me and hashtag Surf and Turf Challenge. Let's go. All right, so we are starting out basic here. Basically, I just want to thaw out this crab leg and we go from there. Now I'm trying to get these steaks as thin as possible. I thought they were thinner, so I'm just beating my meat. I wanted to beat my meat um, so it can get really thin. That way, when I finish my process, they turn out the way I want it to. Excuse the grimace. Now it's really important that I get these nice and thin so everything cooks all evenly. It's my first time doing this, so we gotta see what's up. Crab legs are done. I am ready to snap, crackle, and pop these bad babies. You love to see it pull out like that. I like to keep the season light because you can always add them instead of overdoing it. Just salt, some slap your mama, and then some ex-girlfriend, AKA old babe. But I'm Now I'm adding cream cheese to the mix. And at this point, you're probably wondering, what is he making? Just stay tuned y'all because this is a challenge and some lemon that I pretended to put in there. And mix it all up get that all blended in there nice and well um, I wanted to uh, blend it but I also wanted to let it rest because I wanted that cream cheese a little warmer too I skipped the part where I seared the insides of the steaks but I did that so I can spread butter or this garlic butter on the insides of them um, and then next step you'll see what I'm gonna do with my with my concoction it's gonna be great And now we got the lobster tail, had to use the kitchen shears to cut it nice and open. And at this point, I bet you're wondering, what is he doing? What is he making? Just relax, stay, stay calm. You'll see, you'll see, we'll get to it. And then obviously I cut them up in a little pieces with the scissors because that's the easiest way to go. Fried them in the pan. And now it is coming together. Look at that crab mix on the steak. Now, what is he gonna do with that? How are you gonna execute this, Snoop? Don't worry, I am Chef Boy RC. They don't call me Chef Boy RC for nothing. Now, I just wanted to spread that out all nice and evenly. Um, make sure you get every corner so every bite is delicious. And then I flip that on top. Yeah, let's go. What is he gonna do with that mac and cheese? What, where does mac and cheese fit into this? Oh, remember that lobster that I had? Lobster mac and cheese. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Chef Boy RC in the building. Mix it up, sprinkle some cheese on top of there. I had the oven preheating while y'all wasn't watching at 350. Then I'm just gonna pop that in the oven. You already know. I just love the sound of that sizzle. But yeah, searing these sides, get some salt on each side. Um, when I flip it over, you'll see. Um, nice flip. Ooh, look at that sear. Oh yeah, it's coming together, guys. It is coming together in the final product. Welcome back, Snoop Troop. This is the first ever challenge that I'm doing. Surf and turf. Um, if you want to join, show me what you got. I'll explain everything I did. I mean, I probably did in the making of it, but show me what you can do. Show me what you got. Um, I'll share, maybe do a review on the next one, maybe next week, Wednesday. So let me know. Uh, tag me in your videos and uh, hashtag Surf and Turf Challenge. All right, so I took two steaks, right? 
seared them on each side. I don't know where this left off. We just got an amber alert. We get one every 30 seconds here, but um, took these two steaks. Then I made a look. Hold on, let me pray. Thank you, Lord, for this food I'm about to receive. Amen. Let me get a thumbnail too, because. What is that? Um, so, let me go ahead. I'll start with this. This is actually some mac and cheese from Chick-fil-A. And then I just made a lobster mac out of it. Didn't really, I don't even know if I seasoned it or not, but no, I just threw it in there. Bon Appetit. Mmm. -hmm. This is actually really good. I'm not going to, I didn't even season it either. It's just, uh, well, I put extra cheese on it. But this is honestly really good. I'm not capping either. I don't honestly don't think anybody can top this. Because this is this is really good. Mm. I put it back in the oven. I pan fried the uh, lobster for a little bit. And then I just put it in the oven and put some extra cheese on it and that's it. It's real good. Maybe I will make the cheese a little browner, but this is really good. The lobster come with its own like sea taste. So this is really good. I'm glad I didn't do much to it. And I was a little nervous because sometimes that grocery store gives us like not the best lobsters, but this is really good. What I'm really nervous about is This guy. This is just out of the blue, I thought. Hey, maybe this might work, so. I did the inside, pan it a little bit. I rubbed the garlic butter spread on the inside. And then just pan the outside. But on the inside is some. The dishes are done. On the inside. This is basically, I got some cream cheese, some crab legs. Oh, it's basically a sandwich. Is it gonna be good? We'll see. But yeah, I'm really excited to see what other people can do. You know, next time I, I should probably use like a baker's twine or whatever they use, I think it's called. Um, crab legs, cream cheese, uh, some Old Bay. Mm. I'm not getting much crab leg with that bite. I'm gonna try a new one. Um, towards the end I do. And this is perfect because I've been craving pasta so much. I'll be waking up starving because I'm training for this run and I'll be running all the time. And this is honestly really good, I don't care. I'm excited to see what you guys have to offer though. Especially the people who be in my comments talking about, you didn't season it. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you guys can bring to the table. But on a scale of one to 10, this might be one of my favorite meals. Only thing I would change about the steak is I need to find a way to um, make it less watery. Y'all got any tips? This is a lot of like liquidy juices. Um, we still want to keep it juicy. Like my steak is still pink and everything, even though I seared it for a minute. Um, wait one second. Some delicious nice ice cold water. Yeah, this is good. Hold on, this looks like a nice little crab leg bite right here. Let's see. Bon appetit. Oh. 
Oh yeah. I would do it out the old bay though. Or is that salt? Um, um I put hot sauce, old bay, I don't know. Who knows? Um Make sure y'all follow me on all my socials, L.A. Carson, L-A-C-A-R-S-O-N. If you want to do this challenge, make sure you tag me. Um, I'll see all the tags because I assume at least 10 people will do the challenge. Right? I rank my best one, my favorite. There's a tie. Um, do a shout out. You got a week to do it, so tell your friends, family, tell your key channels. Let Carson challenge. Serpent type. Anyways, also follow me on Instagram while you're at it, L-A-C-A-R-S-O-N, and TikTok, YouTube, if you're here, subscribe. Um, I want to see how this one goes because I really want to do a lot more, excuse me, I got a lot of recipes in my mind that I want to just play with and test out, so be creative, um, do something unique, uh, or just... Honestly, even if you just played it good, it could be terrible, but I just want to see what everybody's got. Maybe I'll try to make somebody else's, get some new ideas out there, but y'all, thank you for tuning in. I look forward to seeing what you guys have to offer. Thanks for tuning in. TV is up. Keep my shit been going, oh, see, no, you are not my bro. Please quit acting like you know me.